All right, hello. Welcome back, everybody. Today, I'm going to go over some helicopters, some Red Falcon helis. Kind of give you the how many seats each one of them has and how much storage it has. So, the first one we're going to actually do is the Apache helicopter. This is a winter version. Oh, excuse me. I'm uh, This one here actually has two seats in it. See, you got one seat here and one seat here. And this one here, for some reason, I cannot find the storage on this one. So, if anybody knows how to access the storage on this, please let me know. So, I can't really tell you what the storage is on this one. But I can tell you, see that circle right there? That's where you refuel it at. Just aim at that little circle up there and you can refuel it. Okay, the second one we're going to go for is. That's a police version of the Bell 429. That's a pretty cool little helicopter, isn't it? This one here has four seats in the back and two seats in the front for a total of six people. The storage on the Bell 429 is 600 slots for your helicopter storage. Plus, if you have a flight storage case, however many slots your flight storage case has. The yellow or the blue flight storage case has 250 slots. The yellow one has 500 slots. And the red flight storage case has 1,000 slots. So, whichever one you want is the one you're going to use, I guess. Whichever one you can find, I don't know if, you know, certain different servers are different. Some of them spawn, you can buy them at the trader with the flight storage stuff in it. Some of them, you have to find them on the map. Sorry about that. I, I thought somebody was knocking on my door. All right. And this one here, you actually refuel this helicopter right back here where it says gas on the side which I wish all the helicopter wish all the helicopters had that it said gas on the back of it you know or wherever so this is where you refuel this one at all right try to go through these as quick as I can all right the EC-135 has a total of four seats in the back and two in the front so six people you can put in here with a helicopter storage of 800 slots plus whatever flight storage case you have in it to increase the slots all right now let's see where you put fuel in i think fuel you put in on the other side if i'm not mistaken this one's kind of tricky a little bit it's like it's got to be in the right spot i think last time yep right 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 there look okay this is where you refuel the ec-135 eurocopter kind of just stand right in front of this little window right here with the left of the window and boom right there all right that's where you refuel that one i don't know i just kind of like this one because of the double helicopter and i love the way it sounds but uh here we go this one here you got two seats in the front and I think that's all you got, actually. Two seats. Oh, maybe some in the back. Wait, 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 wait. I'm mistaken. I'm mistaken. Not perfect. Looks like you got six seats in the back and two in the front. So that's a total of eight people. That's pretty cool, isn't it? For a little heli. Eight people in this thing. All right, cool. It's got a helicopter storage of 800 slots plus, of course, whichever flight case you have, the red one being 1,000 slots, uh, blue one being 250, and yellow being 500 slots. All right. And this one here, you actually fuel. I can't remember exactly where all these fuel at, but we're going to find it here real quick. Um, I thought this one was like in a weird location. They're all kind of in a weird location, but we're going to find this one here. Where does this one fuel? Mm -mm -mm -mm. I may not be able to find out where it feels. If I can, then I don't know what to tell you. I 
thought it was up here, wasn't it? Somewhere like up towards the front. Some weird, weird spot. Or maybe that's another heli I'm thinking about. Let's close this door and see if we can fuel over here. Yeah, this one here, I could not tell you where to fuel this thing. If anybody knows where to fuel this thing, uh, please let me know in the comment section. Because I could not tell you. And I'm not going to spend an hour searching for it. I'm not going to start all the helis up, but I want to start this one up just because I think it's got a really, really cool sound in it. I'm going to actually refuel and repair it. There we go. I really like the sound of this. one here has two seats in the back and two seats in the front so a total of four people which isn't, isn't as much but it's still all right and this one has a total of 600 helicopter slots 600 slot helicopter storage plus of course like I say in every helicopter a flight storage case area and this one here you got to fuel right here where the gas cap is easy as that right boom Pretty nice little helicopter. Looks pretty cool too. All right, the camouflage little bird. This one here has a total of four seats and no doors, and only a 300 slot helicopter storage. Which is, that isn't really a lot. I mean, figure this should be like a cheaper helicopter if it's only got four seats and 300 slots, right? Plus, of course, however many slots you've got in your flight storage case that you have in here. All right, and this one here, you will fuel. Let's find it here. Right here. Yep. Right there. Right at the back. This is where you refuel this helicopter. Of course, you always need all your helicopter parts. If, if you know, you're playing a server where it doesn't come with parts, you're going to need the aviation battery, an aviation igniter plug, an aviation hydraulic hose, an aviation wiring harness and a headlight bulb which I think just use the regular headlight bulb will work in it all right here we go the MI2 that's a weird looking son of a isn't it this one's kind of cool it's got a little back door on it with a total of one two looks like three seats in the back can't open that up can you sometimes you can open these with the side compartments okay you got three seats in the back and your two seats in the front with a total of I could not tell you I guess for some reason it's not showing me the thing storage there you go, let me look. huh weird why is it not showing the storage so I need to open something up Oh, there we go. All right, you got to go to the back, I guess. This one has an, yeah, an 800, 800 slot helicopter storage, plus your slot for your flight storage case for extra storage. So 800 slots and five people can fit in it. This one you would fuel somewhere. No, no, no. Where would you fuel with this one? Probably some weird spot, right? I know one of these helicopters that fuels up here somewhere. Oh, right here. This is the one. Look. Kind of crouch down right here. Refuel the helicopter. See, that's a weird spot, isn't it? All right. 
We're gonna get rid of this one, the MI2. This is the R22, little mini son of a bitch. It's got two seats in it, that's it. That's all you're getting, buddy. All right, and it has no storage, no helicopter storage. So you have to have a flight storage case for this helicopter. If you don't, then you're out of luck. You have no storage. I know we just, on the server I play on, we just just found a blue storage case with 250 slots. So I've been flying around, you know, for like a week or so with no storage, you know. Only the storage is on me. Which kind of sucks, but that's all right. It's kind of, you know, it's really easy to land somewhere. This one here has got a weird spot. I can only, let's see if I can access it this way. Yeah, look. You kind of climb up on this little thing and you can refuel it like this up here now if for some reason you can't get the refuel thing right here like I have issues sometimes not being able to get it or not being able to get up on that a lot of times I'll just climb up on the back here and kind of walk over to the edge and I can get, usually get the spot usually of course I'm not going to be able to now because you know oh, uh, 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 there we go right there that is the R22 heli. Little thing here. This is the Mosquito. Mosquito MK3 helicopter. A little single seat son of a thing, you know. I, I kind of like it, you know. It's just a little... Just kind of cruise around, you know. Maybe go on like a little military run. Just grabbing some loot. Doing some things. You know, cover it up. Easy to kind of maybe hide in the woods or whatever it's not very big and this one here only has a spot for a sea chest and a wooden crate I don't think you can put an actual flight storage case on this one so it's just a wooden crate that of course holds 50 slots and a sea chest which is what 100 slots so you're really not getting a lot of storage space on this one but you know it's only just for one person this one has some different parts in it. It's got the regular battery, two spark plugs, a drive belt, the mosquito drive belt, electrical wires for mosquito, a mosquito oil filter, and of course your headlight bulb. That's a nice little heli. And this one here you actually have to fuel right here. Look up at this tank. This is where you can refuel it. The Black Hawk helicopter. All right. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Pretty nice. Of course, it looks better in black. Uh, I should have done it in black. This one here has a total of four, eight, eight, eight seats back. Eight, nine, ten. We got ten seats in the back and two in the front. So that's you hold a total of twelve passenger or twelve people. You know, the the pilot and eleven other people. It's pretty cool. And this one here has a storage of eight hundred slots. Eight hundred slot storage. Make sure nothing's hiding down there. Plus, it's got oh, it's got a spot for two flight storage cases. Wow! So if you've got two red flight storage cases at a thousand piece, that'd be two thousand plus. You'd have twenty eight hundred slots in here. Plus, be able to like take a bunch of people with you and go on some big raid or go on some big looting adventure. You know, you can make a lot of money right there. It's got a door on both sides, which is nice. And this one here fuels. I never fueled this one either. So this will be right here. We fuel right back here. Oh, that's pretty nice. Someone the other day said they didn't like the Blackhawk, and I can't remember why. But I don't know. It looks pretty cool to me. The Chinook helicopter. Really not one of my favorites, to be honest, but. I mean is what it is there's no seat of course up here on the side I thought you could open this can't you yeah you can open this you can open the side door this one here has enough room for one two three holy crap four five six seven eight I don't know maybe I like this a little better now eight flight storage cases Plus a 1,000 slot inventory. Wow. You could have eight, now you could have 9,000 slots in this damn thing. If you had all the flight storage cases of being red. 
Holy crap. That's pretty darn good. Not gonna lie. And then you can actually open this back here. This one here has one, two, three, four, five. Ten people can sit in the back and two in the front. So you got a total of twelve people. This thing will hold twelve people. Pretty cool. Pretty nice, man. Pretty pretty nice. Alright, I'm gonna delete this one. Alright, the CH53 has so many slots it has. This one here I usually kinda gotta go halfway into the door to even open the damn thing. This one here has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve. Looks like you can hold twenty-four people. Plus two in the front. If that's correct, if you can do one person per seat, holy crap. <laughs> you know what I mean? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That'd be twenty that'd be twenty six people, man. Holy god. Twenty six people total. Pretty cool. Twenty six people. All right, let's check to see. Let's open this door right here. Let's see how much storage this thing has in it. This thing has. Okay, this thing has a thousand storage helicopter storage. Plus. Two spots for flight storage cases. Now, it doesn't have as much spots, you know, as in storage cases like the Chinook CH-47, which that really surprised me. Like, I did not expect it to have that much. That's kind of OP, but that's pretty cool, though, too. But I could still settle with having two flight storage cases. That's still 3,000 inventory you're going to have in here total. So, I mean, that's still pretty good, right? Nice, nice, nice. All right, we're going to fire this bad boy up and kind of show you how, oh, I got to tell you where to refuel it, right? I guess that would help. Getting sidetracked here. Right here on the side, this is where you refuel it, right on the driver's side. I'm actually going to fly this thing. Show you a couple things here. They're pretty easy to fly. You just get in the driver's seat, hold down on your left mouse button to start it up. As soon as it starts to start, you can let go of your mouse button. Of course, hit V on your keyboard to go into a different view if you want to. I've got the. Normally, the left shift key would be to sell it, like to lift the helicopter up, give it throttle, and the Z key would be to lower the power and bring it down. Or you can also use your mouse wheel, roll your mouse wheel forward to increase the power, right, just like this, and then backwards to increase the power. W key to go forward. Uh, A key to lean left. D key to lean right. If you lean far enough, you kind of spin around. But you gotta remember, you gotta watch your altitude. When you're leaning real hard like this, you're gonna start losing altitude. Always try to keep the full throttle. Of course, you use S if you want to go backwards. Or if something happens, like, you know, you're kind of losing control, like, ah, I'm losing control, you'll just want to hit whatever key bar you need, which is the plus symbol, right? So your keyboard, you hold it, it's like a flight recovery button. Now, 
I changed my key binding, my flight recovery button to the space bar, and I figured it's a lot easier. My thumb's always resting on the space bar. Anyways, the space bar is what I use for my flight recovery. And then I made the actual arrow key on the right side of my keyboard up and down ones in order to control my throttle up and down. You know, so I can keep my hands on the left controlling the thing while I'm throttling up and down. Safe to land it with the uh, flight recovery, which I actually never knew about until yesterday. Actually, this whole time I've been landing helicopters you know, all by hand, you know? which is a good way to learn. You know, if you don't want to use flight recovery, you can practice without flight recovery. It makes it a little harder. But if you're on a turbo that has a little lag, it makes it harder to do it. And this one here, you've got to get over wherever I'm going to land. Flight recovery button to stop it, and I'll start to lower it down. Now coming down pretty quick, I'll hit my flight recovery button again, going to stop it. And I'm going to try to maneuver it a little bit. If I don't hit anything, I'm going to stop it. flight recovery like this and stop it, it brings the throttle down to halfway, which will actually make you slow the land. Right there. If you're ever on the ground and you're like, ah, I don't really want to park this anymore, you don't have to take back off. Just hit the E key. E makes it spin this way. B makes it spin, or Q makes it spin this way. So E. Also use that up in the air too if you want to say you want to take off real quick. I'm going to take off and I want to spin around this way. This is the way I'm going to be heading. I just use the e, e, uh, e for that and Q to go this way. So I'm actually not going to do that. I'm actually going to hang down here and end this video actually. Anybody who hasn't flown a helicopter, I kind of hope that helped you out. You know, it helps you a little bit on understanding the controls and the flight recovery, which makes it so much easier to land. Wish I would knew about that like a long time ago. But uh, I am going to end this video.